thought I'd make a little video explaining how these diaphragm membrane style uh, all-in-one valve cover uh, PVC oil separator whatever you want to call it uh, how they work um, basically I don't want these screws to fall out basically over here is where uh, crankcase uh, vapors uh, get sucked in through the valve cover <clears throat> and it goes it goes all the way through this whole section here until it exits out this hose over to the intake um, in here is a, a series of little veins or gates or blockages, obstructions, uh, to try to get the, the oil, the suspended oil vapor, uh, to fall off, it tries to knock, knock that oil vapor out of the airstream. And any that, any that do fall out, get dropped right here that's where the oil drops out and it's sort of like a one-way sort of like a one-way valve so and that just drips back into the cylinder head uh, this is between uh, cylinders three and four. So uh, right here is where is where the oil falls out, and then the rest the rest of the vapors move on to the PCV valve and. Uh, this valve cycles between open and shut. There's a there's a like a rubber type membrane, uh, just flat. And the idea is um, you want it to be closed when it can, uh, because if it were open all the time, like if this if this weren't here and it was just open an open channel in there for vapors to go to the intake uh, you'd end up sending a lot of oil vapor that doesn't get caught and separated so you'd have a, a whole lot of oil vapors getting fed into your intake manifold so you'd have oily intake air um, which isn't good um, there's a map sensor in your intake, um, usually. Sometimes, you know, you could, you could have a MAF or a MAP. The MAF would be before the intake, um, uh, sort of you know, toward the air box. And a MAP is after the, well, the throttle body. The MAP is after the throttle body in the intake. Um, this car has a MAP. There's no MAF. <clears throat> There's no MAF up near the air box. It's just a, just a MAP down in the intake past the throttle body so you don't want oil getting on there and following that up you don't want oily intake air getting into your um, combustion chamber and uh, oiling up your you know, spark plugs um, so th that's why we want um, this to be closed whenever it can but it can't be closed all the time because the whole point of uh, of this is to recirculate uh, blow by gases that get down into your crankcase there's a channel that runs from your crankcase up to your cylinder head 
Um, so when enough pressure builds up, um, it'll overcome the atmospheric pressure. When this is all buttoned up, when this is all installed underneath the um, valve cover is negative pressure, is vacuum. Because whenever the, <coughs> you know, this is hooked up to the, in, to the intake manifold and whenever a cylinder uh, is, is drawing air in, it's, it's a bit of a suction because, because the cylinder is pulling down, pulling air in from the, from the outside. And there's also a vacuum pump that adds extra vacuum. Um, so when this is all installed underneath the um, valve cover is uh, negative pressure. And then you have outside positive air pressure pushing down on here. Um, so, you know, po positive pressure on this side, negative pressure on this side, it's, it's gonna pull that, uh, that PVC diaphragm membrane down and, and close off um, basically block block the, the airflow um, uh, and then as, as soon as there's enough pressure built up um, from the, uh, the crankcase pressures from the blow by um, it'll it'll re it'll reduce the it'll it'll add pressure underneath here um, to make it more equal to the outside pressure which ends up pushing pushing this this diaphragm open um, only, only until long enough until uh, the, the 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 pressure under here is reduced enough to the point where uh, more, enough vacuum is 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 present again and positive pressure pushes this closed again. So that's how it it, it closes, opens, closes, opens. When when there's enough uh, vacuum, it's it's closed. When there's less vacuum, it opens. Um, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, have a good one. Uh, two more things I forgot to mention. Uh, underneath the diaphragm is a spring. Uh, it's a very light spring that just tries to keep it open. Um, but that force is counteracted by the, the vacuum suction underneath uh, the, the membrane and then the, the positive air pressure on the other side of the membrane. Um, and then another thing is these uh, supposedly tear a lot. Um, uh, so uh, when they tear, uh, they're just get, it's just going to be open. There's, the, any any tear is gonna is gonna allow um, that that positive outside air pressure to just go right through it. It's it's not gonna it's not gonna be able to hold hold the uh, the diaphragm uh, down and closed. Um, so um, basically basically when when it tears, it, it's it's never gonna close. Uh, so you'll have um, you know. A lot constant, constant airflow um, uh, from your crankcase into your intake, and a way you can check is there's a there's a little hole. Um, I don't know if I can see, see it here. Is a is a little hole. Um, at the end of this channel here. And uh, when the car is running, uh, if you plug that hole, you shouldn't, you shouldn't notice any difference um, if, it, if, if the diaphragm's good. If the diaphragm's torn, then plugging this hole um, uh, should, should cause um, a, a change, a change in uh, the engine noise and RPM. Um, this this car has uh, about two hundred thousand miles on it, uh, and this diaphragm's still good, I think, uh, unless it's stuck open, uh, which which I doubt. Um, I think this diagram works is working fine, um, 
when it was still on the car, I, I did the test uh, where I blocked this hole, N no change at all. Um, and I was surprised because uh, what you hear is that these will start to tear every 50,000, 40,000 uh, miles. And this car has 200,000 on it. Um, uh, similar story with the map sensor. I, I, I hear those go a lot, but I hooked up my uh, OBD-11 and went to live data. I think it's channel 2 on this car. And uh, I, I was reading pressure changes. Uh, uh, it seemed to check out the numbers I was getting. Um, so I don't know, maybe I got lucky with this car. Um, it's, it's a 2013 uh, Jetta 2.5. Um, but, uh, oh, I also, um, just to double check, I also just tried to <laughs> blow air, um, in through this, uh, and it, it was holding air, it was solid, it, it was no leak, so at this point, I, I don't know whether to replace it because it's 200,000 miles or leave it because it's, it's lasted 200,000 miles. Okay, thanks.